here we go. Match 15. This is leaned on by Gopal Chattavidi. Sticking with the opening combination of Chattavidi and Pikram Aurora. And it's going to get even better now. He's going to have a court and bowl. Well, if he doesn't catch it, he's going to run out. Chattavidi, who tries the pull, and he's just late on it. So Moman gets reward for keeping things tight. First up. <laughs> this one somehow has gone to the boundary. This is off the bat. Four runs. Uh, it goes uppercut. Oh, this is up, up, up and away. What a shot that is. He sent Afi Khan in at number three. This is an expert shot. He uses the pace of Moman. He goes short again. This one's going nowhere. Well, non striker's overcommitted here, and he would have been gone. And no time. Oh, now this has almost gone to the boundary. Oh, it's one. Oh, let's see what's happened here. The keeper, maybe, because because there are other batters in the way. And then, well, it's a bit like a half-court shot. Well, he missed the pitch. Did Zabiola Niazi. He goes after this, drop kicks it, and drops it into the fan zone. Maximo! Another six to Afi Khan. Well, he's getting his back heating up here in the final round robin match. He takes six. Edged and dropped. Oh, it was Statue of Liberty play from Zabi Niazi behind the stumps. Getting T-boned for six earlier in the over. Comes at a good height, doesn't it? You see those more often than not taken. This is a bowl that impressed me yesterday, but this isn't very impressive because this one's halfway to heaven. Going to cost him seven. Maximo and Fuzzy Chowdhury, a man who under pressure yesterday delivered six dots. Well, the complete polar opposite. As this one slips out, it's going to be a no ball plus six. He's looking to get going here now. This one is a free hit, and he does get another boundary. Overcoming the adversity. And now he might have a wicket. This is a top edge. The fielder is capped, and he gets there. So it's a good catch. Azam Khalil, just the kind of man that you want under a high ball. He's got a good set of hands. And so Azam Khalil built the pressure with the ball, and then he receives the catch. And then a second, assuming they last this ball, which they do, Prasath. Oh, he's just pushed this way off the back foot, and he's going to get four. Now, yeah, does he get away with this? It's high, and it's going the journey. Maximo! Aurora, nice shot, and this is going to run away for four. Yeah, the longer he bats, the better he's getting. Slow ball, and it's going to be big trouble for Aurora. He'll be disappointed with this, and once again, Gets a start, can't get on with it. He falls for 17. And yeah, short, didn't have a lot of the strike. A lot less than half. But he falls off the last ball, the seventh over. And Qureshi, well, he gets a wicket off his last ball. Now, this one, bit of a top edge. He's going to have to wrestle the sun. He comes in, he gets there, and he drops it. And uh, oh, man, think about a second. And that's Bazia Sahebi. That, well, he got there, did all the hard work. But yeah, another one. Risking permanent retina damage. Didn't see much of it. Oh, this is another chance, or is it? No, this clears the field up. Maximo for Khalil. And he gets caught behind. Good catch. Really good catch behind the wickets by Zabiul and Niazi. This is a bottom edge. Not easy for the keeper, who has to stay down. And, well, it's a nice moment for Niazi, who's been in the headlines for the wrong reasons behind the stumps for Albi Zalmi. But he holds on to this little nick. Good catch, good bowling by Khalil, and a danger man departs. Miguel's got to go. 73 for four. Way back in the six, but he is going to get a second. And, well, is he going to get a wicket here? It's going to be touch and go, but it's going to be caught. So that's Rahul Khan, the puppet master, who decides, OK, Chowdhury, I know you've gone for a few, but you've been good at the back end of the innings. And so he gives Chowdhury the tenth, and he cashes him with a catch. He does in that direction, and he might have picked one out right here, and it's caught. So that's two in two. And once again, we see a bowler on a hat-trick. It's Chowdhury. It was a gamble bringing him back. We know that was Magical the first time around when he came into the attack, but now Magical in a good way for the Swedish champions, Albi Zalmi, as they pick up Ajmal first ball. Good catch by Azam Khalil as well. And now this is hit. I think it's hit reasonably well. It's going to go all the way. Maximo! Well, it's a hat-trick ball, but well, the shoe's on the other foot. Sharma goes bang. Uh, well, the hat-trick hoodoo continues. Shubhas Roy writing some more notes down. Gone. Adios. Well, uh, this is going to be another note he's going to put in the book.
because after hitting a six, he gets himself stumped. Good work once more from Zahbul and Niazi. And uh, right, they've got six so far from it, but it's all the dot balls that are not helping their cause. Could be a fourth wicket for Chowdhury. Could we have our first five wicket haul? There he goes, and it will be a five wicket haul. Finally, we've got it. And Prasad, he can't find the distance. Well, if looks could kill, maybe a few broken bats. He goes, he looks down and, well, congratulations to Fuzzy Chowdhury. Well, this is T10 cricket at its best. His first over conceded 24, but he ends up with four wickets in his second over. Here we go, 85 to win for the Swedish champs. And Rahel can't. Well, he'll sneak away from the strike here. This just shows you how he's going. Uh, well, let's just say that Taj Hussain, he's not in the mood for mercy. Well, he holds out here. He knows he's in trouble. And the skipper goes without scoring. Rahel Khan. Oh, he just will be so frustrated. He saw he's down and he's out at the moment. And it's Amar Sharma that takes the catch. Yeah. All right, now where's this? This has gone straight up in the air. Well, Afi wants it. Oh, he's got flashbacks and he drops another high one. Well, that's twice he's been caught under the high ball and he hasn't been able to make it happen. And so, oh, Super Kings, they let a chance slip. And that was a chance to get rid of that man, Hussain. He gets something pitched up and he drives and he gets it over the infield and over the outfield and over the fence. Maximo! And that will be a confidence boost. It was a challenge kind of delivery from Justin Shardu. He will be back tomorrow, I imagine. Now it goes after this, and this one will be six. Maximo! Khalil's after him, and he gets him pretty good. Maximo! Well, Sweden, they love to hit their way out of trouble, and this is a nice shot from Azam. He loves to, loves to go walking at the bowler. He goes, meets Bishnoi, and sends him out of the ground. This is going to be out. Well, Azam again tries to place it, but he finds the fielder. And Mohamed Ajmal, he does hold on to one. Big moment in the game. Khalil was looking good, but he'll go no further. Yeah, this is over the top. It's down in Malmo. But this is a little uppercut from Hussain. And this comes off nicely. It's one that swung around, and this one is going to be... Into the fan zone, Maximo Sahibi. Well, started with three dots, but this isn't a dot, this is six. Way to get going. As this one is hit hard, and well, he's almost pulled this off. He's almost done this. It's Prasad, he's the man to have on the boundary. Because he's very, very tall, and he sticks up the hand of hope. All he can do is pat it over. Maximo, six runs to Sahibi. Well, he's going to get another one here, but this is nowhere near him. That one's going to sail over. Maximo! Let's go again. And so now this could be an opportunity. The field is coming around, and it's going to be out. So, well, so heavy, getting a bit too clever by half. He was dancing around like a hat in the hot, hot tin roof. And when it came down to it, he couldn't quite. Unpredictability is the danger. Another full toss. This one's in the gap. And it's going to split the fielders. Four runs. Amororo may fancy having a go. Well, okay, good luck. Who wants it? Goes up a long way. And it drops amazingly short. Run out. Look at a chance here. Not the best of throws, but he's going to get him. Well, <laughs> Aftab Khan. I think he's playing that game twister on the ground here. But somehow he manages to get the ball on the stumps. And uh, well done, Aftab. <laughs> it wasn't the best of throws. I think he's double jointed here. How does he get this under the stumps? And how does he not pull his shoulder out? It does really well at the end. <laughs> no, oh, there could be another. And it's not the best of throws, but it doesn't matter. It wasn't powerful. They've got another wicket here, and they've gained a little bit of the shangles here. Oh, and man. this time it's Saad Nawaz. He has to go. What is this all about? Well, I called the twist, and it's going to be... It's going to be... Oh, packet of twisties here, because unnecessary run-outs. It's like unnecessary wickets. And I'll have a good look at this one again. There's he pushes no run he here. There's no run here. 
Oh, this is whacked, and I think that's six. Just going on the reaction of the batter, so he gets one good. Hunchmal with the ball, and well, forget this one. This is six more. This has flown a long way. Uniazi taking a bit of time to warm up, but once he has, tell you what, he's one of the most popular batters out there, even though he's run half of the team out. And uh, well, this one takes him six close to the target. Uh, this is going to be a consolation we get, or is it? Oh no! Well, he's caught it. He's going to be out, and well. Hopefully he's all right here. He had no idea that the, that the fielder was coming in. Oh, this is a disaster for Malta Super Kings. And Afi Khan, he's, he's gotten involved in a big collision here. And he's, he's walking it off. And this will be out as well. He's walking. Well, he's dropped it. He's going to be run out here. Oh, that's going to be game over. Well, they're down. They're out. They're flat out. Niazi survives. Oh. He gets the run. And, well, bizarre end to the round robin stage as Alwi Zami ended up doing this with nine balls to spare.